the command line. It's a bit of a controversial topic. A lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. Now, the command line is often avoided. It's, it's feared by those that don't properly understand it. The command line, though, is loved by those that know how to harness the full potential and the power of the command line. But there's one thing that I think we can all agree on. The command line, in many cases, just flat out does it better than the GUI. And that's our topic for the day. The command line, it does it better than the GUI. Now hear me out on this. I know some of you are already throwing stuff at the screen and cursing at me. Uh, let's go over a few things. Uh, first of all, the command line is often avoided by computer users, especially novice computer users. They don't know the commands. They think the commands are complicated. Uh, they think it's difficult to learn. But think about how difficult to learn the graphical user interface is for so many of the programs we use on a daily basis. Think of something like GIMP and all the tools and all the options available in GIMP. Uh, think about that menu system in GIMP and how many options, how many menus and submenus. Uh, that thing is extremely complica complicated to get around in and navigate in. Same thing with something like LibreOffice. Uh, in a lot of ways, a command line interface is a much easier way to get around than the graphical user interface. It just is. Speed. The command line is faster than a graphical user interface. It just is. Uh, basically, all you need is a keyboard. You need a keyboard and a shell prompt. Uh, TTY prompt or on your desktop if you're in a, a graphical environment. You need a terminal emulator of some kind. Xterm, RxVT, the GNOME terminal, KDE's console, what have you. Uh, if you can type you're only limited by how fast you can type. Oftentimes, command line uh, interface, the commands are very short. Just one or two words, often very short words too, and they take under a second to type and execute. Think about how long it takes to navigate through a menu. Find the program you want to launch. Okay, that program is launched. Now, navigate the menus in that program to find whatever it was you wanted to execute. Uh, Way before you're done doing that, I've already done what I needed to do in the command line, and I'm moving on to the next task. So, definitely speed, advantage, command line. Resource usage. The command line uses less system resources than a graphical user interface. This is obvious. The command line, all you need is a shell prompt. Uh, you don't need anything else. You just need a prompt. Uh, on your desktop, if you're using a terminal emulator, then you need a terminal emulator of some kind, Xterm, the GNOME terminal, what have you. Uh, other than that, you don't need like toolkits, you know, GTK, Qt toolkits. You don't need icons. You don't need fonts. You don't need video. You don't need any of that, that stuff that just sucks up all your system resources. All you need is a command prompt. Backwards compatibility is another big advantage that the command line has. Uh, with GUIs, each GUI has its own design, its own structure, and they change often, and they change dramatically, and most of the time they break backwards compatibility with previous versions of that graphical user interface. The command line, it evolves to new commands are introduced. I mean, we get new things that we can do in the bash shell, for example. But you know what? The original commands we learned way back in the day, they're still there. We can still use them. They remain the same. The shell rarely breaks with backward compatibility. The command line, it just does this better. The command line is also a very clean interface. It is distraction free. The command line is just text. Beautiful text. No graphics, multimedia, nothing of that kind that will distract you from the task at hand. Now, admittedly, black on white or white on black aren't exactly sexy, but if you're using a terminal emulator on your desktop, you know what? Just throw a nice terminal color scheme such as Solarized or Zenburn on there, and you get some, some pretty colors to look at. And uh, a few final thoughts on why the command line just does it better than the GUI. The, GUI. the command line doesn't care if you're running Ubuntu or Gentoo or Arch or Fedora or whatever. The bash commands are bash commands regardless of distro. Um, 
there's very few things you're going to do in a command line that are going to be different on one distro than on the on another. Again, the shell commands in particular, the same regardless. If you know bash, you know bash. It doesn't matter what distro you're on. Now, some commands, command line interface stuff, like your, with your package managers, that stuff will be di different d depending on the distro. For example, you're going to use apt, you know, in Debian and Ubuntu. You're going to use Pac-Man and Arch. You're going to use Emerge and Gen2. But other than some of that stuff, which is very distro specific, 95% plus of what you do in the command line is distro agnostic. It doesn't matter what you're running. Also, the command line gives you much more scripting options. It's much more powerful for those of you that like to write bash scripts, what have you, Python scripts. Uh, command line interface offers piping, uh, automation, just the command line interface is also more verbose, gives you a lot more options in many cases than the GUI. It offers you greater control than the GUI. And my final thoughts here is you're just more productive oftentimes in the command line. Now, a lot of times you just get your work done faster in the command line compared to the GUI. Uh, pretty much all those bullet points I just covered with, with you, most of those simply just make you faster. They make you faster at what you do. Saves you time. Time equals money. And before I go, I do want to do a special thanks to my patrons. David, Carlos, Nick, Daniel, Brian, Leor, AK, Ron, Keith, Dan, Michael, Tony, Bruno, David, Mike, Silvio, Omar, Mark, Mr. Neely, Pops, John, Carl, Greg, Rob, Matt, Christian, Tiedemann, Stephen Z, Eduardo, Alex, Jake, Benjamin, Stephen B, Marcus, Interceptor, Tubella, and Humayi. Appreciate you guys. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys.